Tell, tell us about the shags. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The inside of your intestines are a tube. It's about 25 feet long, though, more or less. The inside of the tube is lined with shag carpeting. This shag is where calcium is absorbed, this shag vitamin C, this shag the fish oils, all the shags absorb different nutrients. When you have celiac disease, your shags wear down and you get berber mm -hmm. instead of shag. Mm -hmm. So if you've got berber, you don't absorb calcium, you get osteoporosis. It's not rocket science. As to why do celiacs get osteoporosis, it's so common that the annals of internal medicine say every celiac patient needs to be tested for osteoporosis as celiac could be the cause of their osteoporosis. So I present that study in my seminars to doctors. I says, docs, if the annals of internal medicine say everyone needs to be tested, which one are you not going to test? Mm -hmm. right? So that kind of gets them thinking about it. So the, the shags wear down. If you have the shags worn down, the blood test called transglutaminase is close to 100% accurate and sensitive, right on the money. Some papers say 97%, 95%, but right on the money. So doctors are very confident in that test. The problem is, when they determine that it's right on the money and it identifies 95 to 100% of the people, they're looking at people who have celiac disease. The definition of celiac disease requires that you have Berber, hmm. that you have total, it's called total villus atrophy. Your shags are worn down, your villi are atrophied completely. If you have partial villus atrophy, the test can be wrong up to seven out of 10 times. So you can be marching your way toward Berber and just not quite be there and it would just be... That's right, and the, and the test can be wrong seven out of 10 times. Wow. 